Well, howdy diddly dandy there, Charles to I, Captain of the Steves. Now I'm looking at the last update for No Man's Sky. You can see there, 31st of the 10th, just momentarily ago. Now I'm going to jump inside of No Man's Sky and see if I can work out how to claim the pet that I had that was broken. Okay, people, so hopefully we're going to be seeing that today. Okay. So chums, the actual patch notes say that the actual pet will be inside of your roster of pets. Now my roster of pets though is full. Uh, every single one has been petrified. Heck yeah! Got loads of pets inside of mine. So anyway, I need to get rid of a pet. So I'm going to get rid of Air Biscuit. Okay. And hopefully if I head on over to the Quicksilver Merchant. If you've checked your pet roster and it's not there, Go over to the Quicksilver Agent, and hopefully you're going to find your pet egg here been restored to infantile. Here we go. Collect Expedition Rewards. There it is right there. I'm going to collect these as well while I'm here, because I haven't collected them yet. I'm not going to bother the Grub Cocoon, though. Right, okay. Now I should have my pet. Let's go into the inventory. There's my pet right there. Now before, if you clicked this, it would make the noise, and then your pet would disappear. Boom! There he is! We've got him! Heck yes, we've got him! Lovely! Right, well what I would say though, Hello Games, is as you can see, now my pet roster is completely full. And I'd say more than half are probably reward pets right now. So, we could do with a couple more pet slots. What I would suggest is giving us some sort of menagerie containers that we can put on our freighters or at our bases to house the pets that we don't use so often. So at least if people visit our bases or our freighters, they can see these guys. Oh, look, he's coloured his red. Oh, that's funky. Oh, OK. I guess that you can even put them in the old genetic sequencer now and change their colours. I didn't realise you could do that. Well, that's pretty darn snaz. Heck yeah. Cool, yeah. Well, there was a bug about putting them inside of the pet thingy, so I bet a lot of people haven't realised that they can do that. So it looks like that's possible too now, people. Right, oh, look, there's another red one there as well. How bizarre. Okay. Okay, fine. Right, anyhow, so I'm going to jump in my ship and my ship, create a little save. But I'm going to jump out of my ship down on planet because something that people were also moaning about and suggesting was a problem is trying to land this ship on planets in fact i was also one of those people that was moaning about said landing of ship it just keeps saying and you know, landing area isn't clear i think that's because it covers such a large surface area i had the same problem though with um the starborn runner when we first got given that got it yeah, let's see if we can land this like first attempt this time now this is on playstation 5 and i'm doing my testing i've got one more test that i want to do and that's let's see if base loading oh, there we go look landed straight away i think they've fixed it people even though it wasn't in the patch notes i had a funny feeling they might just fix it anyhow but there we go landed first time i don't think that was a fluke but something else I want to check, like I say, is base rendering. So I'm just going to go up to the old Nexus and I'm going to teleport to my Halloween planet. Oh, chums, actually, rather than go to the Nexus, I figured I'd call in my freighter and we'd do it from there. So something else people reported is if they run the expedition from their main safe, when they went back to their legacy safe, their frigates didn't render in. All of their frigate fleet vanished. My frigate fleet is there. I'm hoping that's a sign that perhaps if you had a missing frigate fleet, maybe you've got your fleet back. Double check, people. And another thing that was broken is the new head that we got, you couldn't change the colours of it. Oh, you can now. Oh, that looks cool, doesn't it? Oh, that's pretty darn freaking sweet. Heck yes. Okay. Very cool. That looks pretty darn groovy. I might just keep that on for a day. For the rest of today yeah that works heck yes brilliant right now to teleport to my halloween base so it looks like all these fixes are coming in thick and fast people i don't know why they weren't there before now i've just done a review of this just just before this patch came out and i sort of said it's a shame that they didn't bring this out beforehand you know and uh now it's out so technically if i was to rescore my review i'd probably give it like a nine a 9.2 out of 10. 
Sweet, if you want to see what I did score it, the video's up there. I guess. Let's go to my planet. Okay, chums, I'm on my Halloween planet. Let me just check the old network settings. Uh, multiplayer enabled, crossplay enabled. Lovely jubbly. Let's head on down to the portal and let's see what bases appear. I can see lots of comms boards. I couldn't see comms boards the other day, so that's a good sign. Other bases. Let's have a look, see. Um... Okay, this is a bit weird. Look at all those redacted signs under there. Maybe it's because I came straight from the Nexus here. Right, I might have to actually head on out and look to see if I can actually physically see markers. Okay, chums, as you can see, I can see lots of comms balls. Comms balls, comm balls everywhere. But no based markers. So it seems things are still a little bit squiffy. Oh yeah, very squiffy. All right, well, if you do want to come here and build a base, there's the portal coordinates in the bottom corner. I will be doing base tours here on my PC for the foreseeable future because PlayStation Network, whatever reason, not seeing the bases on PlayStation. Hasn't been mentioned in the patch notes. I don't even know whether Hello Games are overly aware. So, yeah, and I don't know whether other people are affected by this other than me. I've had a few people say they've gone here on Switch, they've gone here on PC, they can see all the bases. I haven't had too much feedback from PlayStation players, but there we go. That's that's kind of where I am with this at the moment, people. A little bit in the dark with it. Okay, right. Well, anyway, I think I've done some rigorous testing of the things that were affecting my own save. Obviously, I can't test things that weren't affecting me. So hopefully you can sound up in the comments. Let us know if there's any existing bugs, things that haven't been squashed, that they said had been squashed. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can get it reported to the Zendesk and get them re-looked at. But you know what? For me, this has been a bit of a winner-winner chicken dinner. This whole thing with my Halloween planet, though, is frustrating, to say the least. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.